When an elderly woman arrived at her doctor's office in tears, he tried to get to the bottom of her distress. What she told him ended up at the heart of the murder case, State versus Moen. Ronald Moen and his wife Judith had moved in with Judith's mother, Hazel Chatfield. Moen had a history of violent behavior and had been convicted of several crimes, including negligent homicide and firearm offenses. When Chatfield visited her doctor, Daniel Mulkey, for treatment for her ongoing high blood pressure and other medical problems, she was so nervous Mulkey couldn't conduct the scheduled exam. When he asked her why she was so distressed, she told him that her son-in-law was in her house and he was upsetting her. At another appointment a month later, Chatfield exhibited signs of extreme depression and distress, crying so much that Mulkey again couldn't discuss her other potentially life-threatening medical conditions. Chatfield told Mulkey that Moen had been physically abusive to Judith and said she was afraid he might kill them both. Mulkey diagnosed Chatfield with depression and prescribed antidepressants. He also advised her to call the police and have Moen removed from the house. Two days later, Judith and her mother were both shot to death. The bullets matched those used in Moen's gun. At Moen's trial, the prosecution called Mulkey as a witness. Mulkey described his appointments with Chatfield, including her descriptions of Moen's conduct and her stated fear that Moen would kill her and Judith. The jury found Moen guilty of aggravated murder. Moen appealed to the Oregon Supreme Court. He argued that Mulkey's statements were inadmissible hearsay. 